Hey Aries, this is your reading for March 2021, Summer Rise of Venus sign. Thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to this channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, okay? If this message resonates with you, like this video for me, okay? To all of my returning subscribers, thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate y'all. For supporting me in this channel. Give me a card here for Aries, Summer Rising, and Venus Sign. What message do you have for Aries here in March? Okay, 2021. There we go, y'all. Ooh, a lot of pentacles coming out for you guys. And I did a pre-shuffle for you. Um, oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Is it love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's love. We're going to go into these card areas, but we're going to get the overall message from Spirit here to see what else they want you to know. And your pre-shuffle was saying don't ignore the red flags, okay? You got a lot of love on the table right now. So let's see where we are. Fate. Nice. Ooh. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, it's juicy today. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for coming back to watch your reading, okay? I appreciate you guys. So let's go on to your, your cards here, Aries. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Uh, this could be a new relationship. Someone um, that wants to step into your life and express their feelings to uh, express their feelings to you here, okay? Someone is secretly longing for you here. Someone is secretly yearning for you, longing. Okay. And you have protected. You are safe and divinely guided. So possibly here, Aries, you guys are protecting yourself. You have your guard up here. Um, uh, due to past situations, that's what I'm feeling with this protected card. But spirit is letting me know that it's okay for you to step into something new. I feel like, yes, uh, the doors are opening up in regards to new love. And someone wants to step in. This is either a water sign or um, an air sign that I'm seeing here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have Gemini that's coming in here as well. Or this could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, possibly. Sag. Children. This person may have children. Want children, okay? Children are important to this partnership here. You may find out that someone is secretly in love with you and they have children here, Aries. So pay attention to this. Uh, they have a may have a child or children. Let me just put it that way. Let's go into your cards here. <clears throat> so, where are you right now this week? You have the three of wands recognition. Uh, not wands. Three of pentacles. These are pentacles here. Recognition and reward and partnerships here. So in your pre-shuffle, I saw that money was good. You had the nine of pentacles coming in. You were looking good, satisfied with your life. Things are going in the right direction. If you're not feeling this, this soon will come in. Okay, you will either have a, a successful employment with the nine of pentacles that I saw and this three of pentacles here, Aries, okay? Um, some of you guys are thinking about improving your home or purchasing a home as well. Just really get Getting, um, getting yourself settled in and comfortable and just taking care of yourself here, okay? Some of you guys can expect here in the month of March or during this week, um, jobs that open up where you can get promoted um, in your current situation here, okay? I just see, your, you, see you improving your um, foundation. OK, some of you guys are even improving your health here as well. You're thinking about um, having a lifestyle change, not a diet. OK, it's a lifestyle change. So you're changing what you eat or you're changing um, 
um, switching up like exercising and taking care of your body and being more health conscious. That's something else that I'm feeling as I'm holding this card. Okay. They're letting me know though with the three of pentacles coming in that relationships are important here. Okay. So learn to open up and collaborate with others. You may meet a lover, um, through mutual friends or they may be in the same, uh, career field that you're in or have the same interests. Okay. That's something else that I'm feeling. So what's car crossing you here is a temperance card. And this is an opportunity for you to heal yourself from the past so that your um, your new path is no longer blocked here. That's what I'm feeling with the temperance card that's coming in, overcoming challenges and obstacles. And I see you guys doing this and I see you being very brave and, and moving forward here and leaving things that do not serve you anymore. Spirit is wanting you to be patient with yourself as well. That's what I'm feeling here from this temperance energy. Um, they're saying that thing. Everything is a learning process here, okay? And be patient with yourself um, as you move ahead because I feel like there is absolute change and Spirit is just saying that um, you deserve better here, okay? So take it easy on yourself. Take it easy, okay? We all always have a chance to improve and um, really just grow, okay, into the people that we want to be here. That's what I'm feeling. So what you need to focus on is your moolah. <laughs> Five of pentacles. And I felt this through your pre-shuffle as well. Um, I felt like spirit was saying that you need to pay attention to the money that's going out and the money that's coming in. There's this need for you to save here. Okay. Be a little frugal and just put your coins to the side or put uh put the, put money up for a rainy day that's what they're saying here okay with the five of pentacles also um like i said if you guys are wanting uh, an opportunity a new career opportunity i see this coming in towards you um but with this being the focus um your financial matters being your focus right now at this moment i want you to think positively um in regards to it okay like don't speak negatively over your future if you've had a rough patch here if you have had a downturn in finances here okay i feel like this is only temporary and you should expect changes coming in um with the five of pentacles here so your past your past energy here is the eight of swords coming in some of you guys were afraid to move forward you were just afraid of um or uncertain if you're not afraid you were just uncertain of the future here spirit wants you to release this mindset and i feel like you guys have worked very hard to do this already this is also why it's in the past energy um i feel like you're no longer allowing others actions or words to mess with your head um, you're freeing yourself. That's the energy that I'm seeing here with the Eight of Swords in the past energy. Um, what's crowning you here? Okay, your strength here is the Seven of Pentacles energy that's coming in. So I feel definitely um, whatever this struggle is, okay, whatever this Five of Pentacles energy is. Some of you guys are just having unpleasant feelings about a situation that may have happened in the past here, okay? Um, I see that uh, your strength is that you can move on. Um, yes, that you can release yourself from um, any delays moving forward. And you have this energy of um, being able to move on okay from things that do not serve you and plan for your future here okay the message here aries is that uh patience is essential and that's why you have the temperance card uh coming in here okay patience and planning <laughs> they're saying patience to you twice okay have patience things are moving in the right direction so in your uh previous shuffle here i did see the nine of pentacles energy that's uh that came out for you here so this is your near future the nine of pentacles material harvest or stability when it comes to your partnerships your relationships it, it i feel like I was stuttering i feel like uh this is a release of worry and anxiety and stress and you just feeling good 
I'm so happy that this card is coming out for you again, okay? I feel in the near future here, you will be able to sit back and really enjoy the fruits of your labor and know that ooh, you've just learned so much through your experiences here and they no longer hold you hostage, okay? Uh, whether the, it is a situation or a person that you had to deal with in the past here, it's no longer holding you hostage here. I see you getting your self together physically okay materially okay um whether that is your work or your body or your mindset here yes i see great things moving in uh in the near future here so your suggested approach you have the eight of cups energy which is interesting, okay? Eight of Cups energy coming in, letting you know that you can step away from things that do not serve you anymore and um, go towards what you truly desire here, okay? Eight of Cups is coming in, letting you know that uh, it's okay to choose a new path um, and leave painful situations that may have messed with your mind. Leave it behind you. You have eights coming in here, Aries. So, uh, pay attention to uh, what you truly want going forward here, okay? Because I feel like there is a lot of good luck and there's a lot of growth um, that's heading in your direction. So what you need to know here, um, you have the Four of Swords here. Spirit is calling you into meditation. That's what I feel. Some of you guys need to ground yourself with the Four of Swords energy that's come again. The card says rest and rejuvenate at this time and don't stress yourself out, okay? Uh, don't let your mind overrule you. Know that you are moving forward and you will start to see uh, growth and progress uh, towards what you truly uh, desire here. Okay, I feel like if you get because everybody does this, I do this, okay, where I don't see the positive uh, things that are happening in my life here. And I really focus on the negative things and I start to my vibration is just very low. Okay, I go into the state of um, just thinking very negatively and not being um grateful for the things that I truly have in my life, the things that are going right here, okay? So I feel like this is just a message for you to just step back and um, show gratitude for the things that you currently have and open yourself up so that you can receive more as well. The Four of Swords is letting me know I have to go back into this. They're pulling me back in, Aries, okay? Uh, because they want you to know this. They want you to know that uh, this is the end of any painful or stressful situation, okay? Or a feeling mentally exhausted at times, okay? Um, because it does bring in stress brings illness, okay? If you, you know this. Stress brings brings illness. So I feel that's why the temperance card is so important, why it's crossing you, because spirit is letting you know this is the opportunity for you to focus on healing yourself, okay? And don't rush back into, um, you don't have to rush back into things, okay? Have patience uh, with yourself, okay? So, um you have the two of cups coming in here. I feel like this is a brand new relationship. Okay. This could be someone that is secretly liking you. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That still has you on their mind. Um, or they see you. They're watching you. Okay. And they're longing for you. Or they're just try, trying on, and wanting to get your attention here. I, with the two of cups energy that's coming in. This is someone that really wants to get close to you. Or have an intimate connection with you. A love affair with you they can even feel uh spiritually connected to you okay but i see that this person wants to come together and they don't want conflict here okay this person may also be standing back just watching you because they have children okay and they want to make sure that they're moving into a connection that can support um their life here but there's there's really a strong connection here especially with the lovers card um that's coming in with the two of cups and it feels really good it feels like a really strong um strong relationship that you can have with someone so let's see exactly how you can manifest what you truly want in your life we're going to use the law of attraction cards here what message do you have here for aries can they 
what can they do to manifest what they truly want if you're trying to bring in money or new relationship or uh just get in touch with your spiritual self here okay what can aries do this week throughout march okay <laughs> thank you it's like they answered the question your card is saying how to manifest here aries state your thoughts um such as i am i have speak in those words okay they're saying believe that you have received it okay you have to believe that you're going to get the things that you are asking for okay feel as though I feel as though you, you already have it. Let me put my words together. Feel as though you already have it, okay? Um, and take inspired action here. Don't let the past hold you back, okay? Um, the card is saying feeling trapped in fear or mental fear, okay? This is self-imposed here. This energy, you can get past it. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? Through meditation. That's why you have the Four of Swords. They're saying no, it's done and have fun here. So state your intentions. Put that energy out. Do some visualization work or just meditate. And that's why you have the Four of, uh, four of Swords coming in. They're saying have fun with this. Don't make it... Uh, don't put in negative energy or um, energy like you are anxious to get it. <laughs> okay. That's why also why you have the temperance card in here saying have patience and have fun with um, these exercises that I'm telling you about. Okay. And then they're saying receive it. Be ready to receive it. Open yourself up to receive. Look at the nine of pentacles right under it. Open yourself up to receive the love. Receive the increase in pay. To receive the uh, the finances that you need. Okay. Believe that you have it. And set your intentions here. Okay. And align yourself to receive it. What do you have here? Aries. You have mindfulness. Awareness of your thoughts without judgment. Meditate, <clears throat> breathe, <laughs> yoga, being present, and grace. Okay, that's how you're going to manifest what you truly want. Definitely not in this state of fear. We don't operate well. Let me tell you something about meditation. Let me just put this in here, okay? So when you do decide to meditate, it may it may not be easy for everyone to go into that state of quietness. So maybe you give yourself just five minutes um, to do that, to get into a quiet space. If you can't get into a quiet space, just get into a comfortable space, okay, where you can close your eyes. Do some deep breathing. That's, that can also put you into a state of um, relaxation so you can um Go into a state of meditation, deep breathing, in and out, deep breathing here, okay? And you concentrate on your breathing as well, okay? If your mind is wandering, let it wander. Wander. <laughs> I've been doing these exercises myself, okay? Let it wander and then recenter yourself back towards breathing, your breathing, okay? And just notice it. I definitely got to put a video out for you guys on this, and I, and I probably will. But that's why you have this card saying mindfulness here, okay? Meditate, breathe, do some yoga, be in the present, okay? Don't be so stuck in the past or so much in the future that you're not being present right now, okay? Um, you can't take inspired action if you're always running towards the future. You have to take care of what's in front of you, what's happening right now in the current moment here, okay? I feel like doing these exercises or learning how to meditate will become easier over time because you train your brain to do it. Um, and then you carry that energy with you throughout the day as well. Okay. Being mindful, calm, and patient. So past programming. Spirit is wanting you to change your past programming. Um things that you may have learned throughout your life or in your childhood, okay? They're saying choose your own beliefs, recognize false stories, external conditioning. Take a look at your external conditioning and see if it aligns with who you truly want to be, okay? They're saying make decisions that support your goals here. You have giving and receiving as your last card. Everything is energy, reciprocity, give, receive easily, um, 
to others and yourself. Give and receive easily to others and yourself. And uh, practice random acts of kindness here this week. Okay. And be willing to be open to um, receiving that same energy back. Because I feel like that's what Spirit is saying will happen for you. Let's get a few more messages out for y'all. What messages do you have for Aries to close the reading? This week. going to be using the art of manifestation they're saying compromise here the number eight is coming out for the third time okay for you so i feel like definitely there's progress happening or can happen for you the card is saying are you in a situation where you need to make a compromise or are you compromising too much this card asks you to receive your position and be sure to find a solution that takes the needs of all parties into account including yourself so they want you to know that your feelings matter as well okay in relationships and partnerships and you really need to pay attention to your uh to that energy as well because i feel like there is a love affair <laughs> coming towards you you have fate okay you have um the lover's card and you have the two of cups some relationship or connection is destined to be so get yourself ready for that and learn um that compromise is important right so you can have a meeting of the mind so they're saying take your time here um yeah 56 slow down if you are feeling under pressure whether in response to a situation or the or the demands of another person or from um pressure that you are placing on yourself <laughs> right this card asks you to slow down and take time to um, evaluate before reaching a conclusion meditate over it uh, making a decision or committing yourself okay Take your time in a relationship or making a decision in regards to your life, your well-being, okay, your job, whatever that applies to. The bigger picture, 57. Sometimes, um, particularly during time of accelerated growth, we feel confused and overwhelmed here. Unable to see the woods. Uh, for the trees this card asks you to stand back and see the bigger picture everything is happening just as it should and you will soon regain clarity of the mind here so there is going to be a very big change coming in towards you from the past and the future energy eight of swords okay moving into the nine of pentacles that is a very big swing and shift for you but you work for um you work for this change here okay um that's y'all reading <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate it make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because i will be back with you see you in the next reading aries bye